Hello everyone, welcome to a new video of the Indicator Store of the series Do It Yourself. And here we are going to explain how to automate the new uh, in order flows indicator by Mike. You can see this is the order follows toolbox. For more info about this indicator, I, I suggest watching the documents. We have a webinar this week, so you can register for it on the link that is on the description. But just a few words. On this indicator, the order flows toolbox, you can select one or many of the signals of the order flow trader. So when all of them are together, then you have a signal. Okay. On this example, I am only selecting one. As you can see, everything is uh, off and I am selecting this one, okay? Enable Aligned POC, Point of Control. But you can select more. Okay? So now you don't need to copy all the signals and create a logic to join all of them. So now with this... Uh, this complement now you can create a logic when several signals are together now who can we automate uh, that we just copy the plots it has just two plots long signal short signal the long signal is present when all of the signals that we selected are present no uh, this works in travar so as you can see those signals are not painted at the close of the bar. They are in the middle of the bar. So how can we automate uh, an indicator like this? Very simple because uh, it is just an indicator with two plots. Uh, the only important is because the indicator, uh, this indicator works at each tick, as we can see here, it works at each tick. Then we copy at each tick also okay so markers copy for longs and for shorts are working at each tick so we just create go long as a fast signal and on input series is the same indicator that we are showing and with the same parameters this is important okay as we can see oh, the only parameter selected is the enable aligned point of control okay and then at the bottom, which is the plot that we are copying, the buy signal. And for the shorts, this one, everything is the same. So at the bottom is the sell signal. And the parameters are all of the same. You, you can say, okay, how, how can I... Uh, it has a lot of parameters. I already explained this, that once you have the copy... For example, let's say that I remove the short signal. No, the long signals are showing a cyan dot, this one, and the short signals are showing this uh, yellow dot. Let's remove this one. Okay. So now it is calculating because this indicator needs to work at each tick. Okay. So not only at, we tick replay so when we go to data series we need to enable this if you don't enable that option the indicator is not showing anything so it takes a little time but you, you can wait eh? now it is ready and we can see that we have the signals the triangles are from the indicator and the dots are from the copy but i don't have the copy now so how is the process once I added a copy, for example, indicators, markers copy, a go short, use as a fast signal, the link ID should be the same. I don't remember what I am using. Uh, this, okay, the same uh, link ID. All the indicators on this chart have that, that link ID or anything that you want. Okay. Now on input series, I need to select the same indicator, this one, 
with the same parameters. I remember that the parameter was um, this one, enable align point of control. Okay. Um, and also the copy should work at each tick. Okay. And also I want to show a more or less big dot in color yellow. Okay. So we should get a dot on the signal. Okay. We need to wait because it is calculating with tick replay. In the meantime, we can uh, load markers. Okay. <laughs> can, can you see I, I missed the, the plot? Because now I have the cyan and the yellow dot on the same place. Can you see? The two copies are present and I am not copying the, the shorts because I forgot to add the plot. The go short is the short signal, not the long signal. Eh? Short. Okay. Okay. We need to wait again. So those two longs are cyan. This one should be yellow. Uh, I was commenting, in the meantime, we can add markers with the same link ID. This one with the same link ID and also in fast signal mode using go long and go short because this is what we copied. We copied go long and go short. Okay. If you have a really complex uh, signal, Longs and shorts are the config is the same. The only that changes is the, um, the plot. Okay, so let's do this again. Okay, I am removing again this dot. One way to copy a complex indicator with a lot of settings and avoid having an error is selecting right click and copy. And paste. Let me show you. It is almost finished, so I can select with the left click. Okay, now it is selected. If I right click over the dot, the dot is from the copy. If I right click, then I can copy. Now I click on another place, so this is unselected. Right click and paste. And now you can see it added another markers copy with all the same settings. Okay, it is a duplicate of this. It is also cyan. It is also copying the same indicator with all the same parameters. So we only need to change the color and the plot. And we can, uh, we are sure that all the, the rest of the parameters are the same because they are a copy and paste. Okay, so indicators. And we can see that this copy is cyan, the other copy is also cyan. So th this is a short uh, yellow, okay? This is a go short. And inside input series, the indicator is already selected and configured with all the parameters, and we only need to change the cell signal. Okay, and okay, and it is ready. If we want to check if it works, I already have a loaded playback. This is just an example. I, I don't, depending on the size of the target, I don't know if it is a winner or not. Let, let me play this because it has a good uh, possible target. This one is a possible winner, this one is a break-even, and this one is a winner. No? But let's see how it works, because it is important to understand that it works in Travar. Okay, those are five minutes uh, bars, but the signal, this signal, is not painted at the end of the bar. Okay, and we can take a look at this. And also we can check uh, 
how it is executed, no? Uh, what can we use for the target and the stop? Let's use the ruler. For example, the worst case, no? The worst case is having a fill at the close. More or less, we can expect uh, 30, 30 what? 30 ticks, points, uh, ticks, 30 ticks, okay? And for the stop, uh, we can use the same. Yeah, we can use 30 versus 30 or 30 versus key, uh, 15. It doesn't matter. Okay. So enable chart trader and choose an ATM with 30, more or less. This one, 30 versus 30. This one. Click to select uh, the, uh, no, the account, no, the ATM here. The account is uh, not valid because we are on playback. Okay, and SIM is not valid. So we need to select playback, clicking on the account. So we are ready. Now we can go to more or less. We know that the signal is 8.30. Okay, we, we don't know at which part of, of 8.30. Something between 8.25 to 8.30. Let's go to 8.15. Okay. Go to 815. <clears throat> okay, here we are at uh, 25. No, 8.15. So I'm not sure if in on this bar or on the following. Let's see. The signal should be the second long. And I think that the signal happens between the bar between the 8.20 and 8.25, so on the following bar, not on this one, okay? We are just about to start the new bar, 8.20, new bar. So while this bar is painting, okay? While this bar is painting, between 8.20 and 8.25, we should have a signal and also an instant fill. Let's see what happens. Okay, maybe it was the second bar between 25 and 30. Okay, I'm going to press pause and look at this. Uh, the bar is still uh, working. It is just about to finish. Uh, in 8.30 it finishes. But the bar is uh, not completed. And we can see that there was a fill. The, the signal of the indicator is the triangle. The signal from the copy is the dot. And we got a fill. We can see the fill is in the middle. This was the exact moment where the signal was painted. If the bar keeps going up, that's a good feel. Uh, and the target and stops are there. Okay. So now if we click on play, this, this bar is going to complete. It is completed. So now we have the option or we can execute at bar close with additional conditions. Like for example, that uh, the bar close it up or whatever, okay? you, we can add more conditions or just execute the original signal. Mm -hmm. If we, we already know the result of this uh, trade. Okay, now for more info about this indicator or about uh, how to automate this and also we have a, an excellent discount uh, 
for the indicator and also for the, um, uh, auto the markers, the system to automate the signals. If you're interested, uh, there is a link on the description of, on this video where you can register for a webinar this Friday. Okay, so that's all. Thank you, everyone. Bye bye.